Hello everybody, it's Vertical Sandwich. We're in a fight with Mr. Patch. We gotta run. Cause he's mean. He's so mean. Whoa. We need to shoot him with grenade eggs. No grenade eggs. Gotta hit that patch. There we go. Oh, you found a weak spot. It looks like I might need some help here. All right, so now we get fly pads. And he has boxing gloves that will now jump out of the ground and beat us up. Not kidding. Couldn't make that up if I tried. Oh, really? I just wanted to take off. Okay. So, we'll get up here and away from him, hopefully. Ugh. Okay. And now we want to switch into this perspective. Because we're going to have to fly at him. Shoot him. Uh-oh. Okay. It is a little tricky to get the hang of this. It's not the easiest thing in the world. Now, I believe he does shoot stuff at us. Oh, crap. He's so close. Let's get over here. There we go. Yeah, see, he shoots stuff at us. These beach balls or whatever they are. Okay. Uh oh All right. Where is he? Okay. Haha! <laughs> I will... And he gets smaller. Okay. We're gonna need more grenade eggs eventually. Okay. All right. It's time to get out of the air for a minute. And you're gonna have to watch this because there are honeycombs in the corner and stuff. But we will get hit by those, yeah. Ha <laughs> ha! Take that, you jerk. And he will still shoot stuff at us. So, again, watch it. Kind of shooting in the dark here. Okay. We got a couple. There's three left, apparently. As you can see in the lower right-hand corner, he does he does have a life bar. But now we're way too high. So now we gotta watch out with the yeah, with that. Ugh. Really? Fine. Alright. Okay, there's one left. So we'll get around him and we'll figure out where that is. Okay, Mr. Oh, it's on his butt. No! Ah. Uh. He's right next to us, isn't he? Nope. Yeah! Awesome! Uh-oh! <laughs> Looks like trouble! And there he goes. Poor Mr. Patch. We murdered him. And there's a Jiggy. And the tent opens back up. So that's that. We made that look pretty easy, actually. Oh, I wanted to land right in the Jiggy. Now, uh, I did actually forget to power up the Saucer of Peril. 
So that's my bad. Well, there we go. We filled up our ammo, too. How do we get out of here, though? All right. So let's go do the Saucer of Peril. It's, uh, I've heard it referred to as the funnest minigame in the game. Uh, it's, it's, I like it. I mean, I'm not going to complain. I'm not going to say it's, it's not fun. It is. It's long, but it's fun. So, we have to go back to Mumbo's place, but we have a warp pad right around here, so. Alright. So, what we're going to have to do is turn into Mumbo, go back to the entrance, go into that secret area, because that's where the Saucer of Peril is. So, I did actually, um, I missed it. It was just a Mumbo pad that I just didn't bother to do. All right, and hopefully we can finish the Saucer of Peril in this video, and then I'm just gonna probably record uh, a run at the Star Spinner. So, um, oh, no, oh. yes, Her. all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You and your bleh. I can't believe we missed this. I had seemed like I'd be a little more put together. I thought I was actually doing really well as far as a strategy for this game goes, or this level goes, and I think I was, but the star spin really threw me. I mean, literally threw me. So, we gotta go in here. It's in here. Again, just standard mumbo stuff we should have we should have seen. I love that. It's so great. I actually want that. Oh, Mumbo's full. Okay. So, there we go. Now the saucer peril is powered up. And I was right, it is this stupid thing, so. There we go. So now, uh, if we had tried to climb over there, there would have been electricity trying to shock us and stuff. But, you know, we're, we're past that. We've already made the shortcut up there. Yeah, 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 you could chase me all you want, you won't catch me. I'm Mumbo! Also, I'm a little curious as to where... The, uh, the last bear kid is. Because, like, the one that wants us to carry him, we can't do that. But there's another one that we uh, can... Mumbo, get out of the lava, man. Ah, uh, Mumbo can't grip grab. Okay. Well, good to know, I suppose. Okay. So, uh, I will be right back. What we're going to do is switch back to Banjo-Kazooie, and I will meet you at the Saucer of Peril. You guys take care, and bye, everybody. Hello, everybody! It's Vertical Sandwich, and here we are. We've powered up the Saucer of Peril, so now we can ride it. Bleep! Jump on board to ride the exciting Saucer of Peril. Bleep! Same scoring strategy for this. Blue is three. Green is two. Red is one. You have to score 500 points shooting targets. When the crosshair appears, press Z to fire at the targets to score points. Blue targets are worth three, green two, and red only one. To give you a chance, I'll give you some special eggs. So we have endless eggs. So just hold down the, the trigger. So 500 win first prize or 400 win for the second prize. We'll get second prize. Okay. Ah. Not a great start. Ah. I lost my crosshairs there for a second. See, this is what this stupid thing should look like when you're doing it right. Ugh. Yeah. Okay. Ugh. 
And now we go into the star spinner, of all things. Ugh. So again, keep holding your trigger, because there's going to be way more of this. Yeah, and some of them you can hit kind of before you know what's going on. Uh, these are going to start coming really fast. Yeah, they give you plenty of time to hit those. But like these, uh, these are a nightmare. Okay. Yeah, we're doing great, kind of, I guess. I don't know. 158, now I've done better. I've done way better. But we're going to get a lot uh, running around the uh, inflatable castle. I mean, they're always going to largely be, you know, kind of in front of you, I guess. See, now that was a big scoring opportunity there. Yeah, they'll, and they'll start going sideways and stuff. It's so ridiculous. Yeah, and then there'll be stuff like that. Where, like, ideally you want to hit several of those. But, uh, it's easier said than done. Yeah, I mean, ideally you would never want to miss a blue one. But that's so easy. I mean, like, again, easier said than done. And it's hard to tell sometimes what you've hit and what you haven't. All right, 290. I think 300 would be a better number here, but I'm not even... I don't even know. Yeah, this thing's just going to be ridiculous points for you. You could do it even remotely right. I have some trouble with it. I'm so out of practice, too. Okay. 386. Well, we're, like I said, we're definitely going to get the, the second prize, a 400. Usually finish in the, four, the high 400s if I don't win. Okay. All right. Well, we've already beaten 400. Okay. Give me one behind the food thing here. Ooh. Yeah, I don't know how you would ever get multiples of that. Well, this is the home stretch, but we don't have a chance at this point. 476. Uh, we're gonna have to try again, but I'll have the pattern a little better this time, hopefully. All right, bleep, nice shooting, you win a prize, and we get a Cheeto page. I've got more prizes to give away, so why not try it again for a better score, bleep? Wow, we've got enough for another cheat, which is awesome because we kind of have to go back to Spiral Mountain anyway. Okay, so the Saucer of Peril ride. And we can make the dialogue go faster. We can't skip it. But... Oh, wait, yeah, we can. <laughs> Should be. What am I thinking? We just need a little better luck. I mean... And by luck, I mean aiming skill. Ugh. Listen here, you jerky game. I'm going to beat you. I don't care how you feel about that particular fact. 51. Ugh. I don't feel good about that. I don't know why. Like 80 is probably, is probably amazing. Oh, we can't miss both those blue ones. Yeah, I was going to say. All right. Ugh. Horrible scores. Except for that. That was nice. Oh, no, Banjo. Hey, that rhymed. Nice, all of them. And again, all of them. Nine out of ten. 
155, and that's about where we were before. We're going to have to have a way better score in some of the other areas. All right, well, that was good. As was that. That, not so much. Better. Okay, I'll take that. Ah, I think we got two of those. That definitely is an improvement over our last performance on this. Huh. Well, uh, I think we might be doing okay. I think we're better than last time at this point. Yeah! Yeah, 294. That's way better. Didn't I say I wanted to be at 300 by here? That I would feel better about being at 300? Oh no! I started looking for the crosshair and couldn't find it. Then realized I was being an idiot about it. 297! Or 397. Oh, we should be able to do this, I would hope. And I missed a blue one. But not that blue one. Ah. Yeah, I was going to say, I can't miss both those. Just can't afford it. All right, well, we got one on the loop-de-loop. -loop. Oh, no! We're failing again, suddenly. Oh, no! 484! Oh, uh, we got a better high score, but jeez, we missed by 16. All right, we need more bleeping points than that for the prize. Nice. That's awesome. Well, you know what? What a note to end a video on. All right, you guys, we come back. Saucer of Peril, Star Spinner. Saucer of Peril, Star Spinner. Although, I should view the totals. I want to see what we got out of this level. I've got all the notes. We've got everything but... Ah, uh, three jiggies, and one of them we can't get. So, yeah, Star Spinner and Saucer of Peril would get us to 9 of 10. Um, you guys take care, and uh, bye, everybody.